everyone, how you doing? If you are new here, I am Nicole Concilio and welcome to the video. So today, we're gonna be testing out these new ColourPop Supernova shadows. Like if I had to compare them to something in similarity, it would be the Stila ones. Well, I forget, what do they call like the diamond glows or something like that? So this is what it looks like. It has like almost like a lip applicator. You have the product inside and each one is named on the bottom. And I think this is in Sephora. I'm not 100% sure, but I know that ColourPop is now in Sephora. So congrats to them. I was sent these products right here, but this is not a sponsored review. I posted this on my Twitter and you guys were like, yes, yes, you have to review them. And I posted them on my Snapchat and it got like tons of screenshots. So I was like, okay. I got you. So according to my sources, in each little container here, we have 0.17 ounces, and each one of these goes for $7, which is like, you can't beat that price. I think the Stila ones are like maybe 18 or, or to 20. I don't even know. They might even be $30. I have no idea. So we have a bunch of different shades here. I will first start off by swatching them on the back of my hand. The first one we have going on is Firecracker. So we'll do one little swipe. So that's really pretty and pigmented. Next one we have is Moonlit. I will say this, I mean it is $7, but like the bottom where the names are, it's like really like, uh, uh, can't see it, it's like awkward. So let's do one swipe here. Oops, I kind of blended the two, but you can see the difference a little bit. Then we have Hard To Impress. These definitely are pigmented. Next we have Walk of Fame. This brush definitely isn't as saturated as the other ones. This right here is the brush for Moonlit. So you can see it's pretty well saturated. And this right here is the wand for Walk of Fame. And you can see it's nowhere near as saturated. So I wonder if that's a formula issue. And even when I try to swirl it around in here, it still really doesn't get saturated. So I wonder what the situation is with that. Go and do a swipe. I mean, I would say it's still pigmented, but nowhere near as pigmented as the previous three we swatched. And that one actually does look the patchiest so far. And then the last one we have is Dragon, which is kind of like a copper gold. Yeah, this one is super saturated on the brush as well. And let's do another swatch here. So there we go, we have all of the five shades right here. You can really see them like reflecting off the light. It's really, really pretty, definitely like an eye catcher. So these I feel like is best to use just on your lid. Like I don't think, you, I mean you're not gonna sit here and like blend in your crease and this and that. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and do just like a plain simple kind of like crease blend going on here and then I'm gonna pop some of these colors on the lid. So I'm gonna go in with my Violet Voss palette, which is available right now on Sephora.com. Mm -mm -mm. I'm gonna use some shades in here and just kind of get a little smokiness going on. I'm gonna start off with the color Bra, and I'm just going to put that in my crease. Not doing anything too, too crazy here. I just want it to be blended nicely so that when we apply the shadow, it doesn't look too crazy. I mean, these shadows. And then just doing the same thing to the other eye. Our transition shade going on. Okay. Next, I'm gonna go in with Hangry right here. And I'm gonna go a little bit lower in the crease, just kind of defining it very lightly back and forth and using a very light hand. And then the last shade I'm gonna use in my palette is Hey Girl right here on my Morphe M433 brush. I do have a discount code with Morphe. It's N-I-C-O-L in all caps at the checkout. I do get a slight commission, but you also get 10% off, so it's like a win-win for both of us. And I'm just focusing it more in the outer corner of the eye. Not to like toot my own horn here, but my shadows are really easy to work with and I'm super obsessed with them. Sometimes I feel like, oh my god, I can't believe I did this. Like, me. So I kind of feel like I want to try one color on each eye just so we can get an accurate representation. So I'm going to first try out Dragon on this eye, and I'm just going to apply it like so. Ooh, 
not too shabby. I will say this could be really easy to do a cut crease with. Do you know what I'm saying? Cause like the product is on the wand and it's kind of easy to get into your crease. Wow, that's really pretty. I almost like it a little bit better than the Stila's. Or Stila, I have no idea how to pronounce it. I've heard so many people say it different ways. And then for this eye, I low key want to do this purple. This is Moonlit. And let's see how this looks. Oh. She is pigmented. So that definitely is something to take into consideration if you are into cut creases and stuff. With this one, it might be hard to see on camera, but I am noticing you do kind of move the product around a little bit, so it might be best to let it dry and then do a second layer. But so far, she is pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna let those dry and then I do wanna fool around with the lower lash line as well. I'm gonna take this one, Walk of Fame, since this one is the least saturated out of all of them and was the most patchy, I'm gonna use this and see how it kind of applies to the lower lash line. You know what, it's funny because this one does feel kind of dry compared to the others. Like this purple one was very, very wet in consistency and so was this gold up here or like copper. I'm not really digging this one, I have to be honest. <clears throat> It's a no for me. So then on this eye, I'm gonna try Firecracker, which is more of like a burgundy, I would say. And let's put that on the lower lash line. Ooh, yeah. See, that's already way more pigmented. Yeah, that looks dope. I like that a lot. So it does take a second to dry. Let me see if this one, this one is dry. So I'm gonna go in with a little bit of a blending brush and see how like it blends together with the eyeshadow that's already on there. Huh, that's interesting. Dude, you know what? It may be something with the golds because I'm able to actually flake this whole thing off. Let me zoom you guys on in so you can see. Okay, so here we are on this eye and I could literally flake off that entire thing. So it could be the golds. Let, let me try to get this shit off my face. That is not cute, ColourPop. I'm pretty much able to scrape this whole thing off, which I feel like is a bummer because you should not be able to do that. And you definitely can't do that with the Stila ones. Oh, at first I was really liking these, but it could just be the golds. I'm gonna let this purple dry and see what the situation is with it as well. Like this one is completely chipped off. Like that's not cute. Like let's say you have to go in and blend a little bit more. You're totally gonna flake off some of the shadow, which is not cool. So let's try the purple now. I'm gonna just try to buff it and blend it and see what happens. So this one freaking flakes off too. What is this? Why would it do that? I don't get it. Is there like a way you're supposed to? Let me check this out here. No, you're just supposed to be like, literally, I don't even think this is on ColourPop's website. I'm literally on a website called Temptalia and it's just saying like, it's pigmented. You could wear it like this or blend it out. Me, me, me. I don't know. I mean, it's up to you guys. Like, is this a, a problem that you guys think? I mean, personally, I'm like kind of aggravated because it's like, I should be able to go in and blend after I have my shadow on. So, <laughs> okay. I'm gonna actually put the purple on both eyes and let's just see, let's try this out again. I won't flake it off this time, just go in with both. And I did do a very thin layer, like I didn't go over it a second time or anything and it already flaked off, so that's definitely something to keep in mind. I probably wouldn't use this product if I needed to blend more, like I would only apply it once everything was blended. And also you have to think the price, it's $7. So at the same time, it's kind of like, for $7 this really isn't that bad, you just can't blend over it. But then again, I wonder if throughout the day if it flakes off. Let's apply this again over here. Yeah, I mean, I don't I don't know. It is really cool. Like, I love the way it looks, especially this purple shade Moonlit. It just kind of stinks like that this could possibly flake off. And then I'm gonna add it to the bottom as well. Why not, y'all? It just kind of makes me feel like I can't go in and blend it out. Like, I don't like that. <sighs> So for the most part, it feels dry. I just feel like I need to go in and like deepen up the crease a little bit cause we have a darker color, but I feel like it's not gonna allow me to do so. I'm gonna go in with chocolate on my palette. It's right here, sorry, I'm zoomed in. 
Like, yeah, I'm, I'm flaking off. Like, I can literally feel it. I'm gonna try with a different brush, a softer brush. Maybe that'll be easier. It's definitely flaking off, guys. It only matters what you think of it. Like, if you can handle the flakage, then I guess this will work. But for me, it's kind of annoying because I always like to go in and blend a little bit more. So I just feel like I'm gonna have this constant battle of applying, having it fall off, reapplying, having it fall off. That's the only thing I would have to say is just it comes off so easily. I don't like that, like, personally. So I'm gonna try the same thing to the other eye. The purple didn't flake off as bad I feel like as the gold maybe moonlit would be better for you guys if you're interested in purchasing it is like a really cool metallic look as well but it also kind of makes my eyelids look a little crunchy <laughs> I'm not happy that shouldn't be happening low-key pissed all right I guess I'm gonna have to go in and do another layer this is my first time layering them on top of each other so this will be a good little test too it does dry pretty hard so I don't know if that is a factor that you guys care about it does look really pretty on the eyes I will say that can you guys see the fallout on my face here luckily this is the kind of fallout that just wipes away because it just kind of flakes but still it's kind of annoying all right let's go ahead and apply some liner see how the liner sits on top of this I'm not gonna do a wing or anything I'm just gonna do a simple line okay so it's fine to draw on top of no flaking or anything. Looking in the mirror, I don't know if you guys can see, but I have so much fallout over here. I'm really disappointed in this product. At first I was really, really liking it, but I'm just really disappointed now because there's just so much fallout. My eyelids look kind of crunchy. I don't know, it's just, and it feels kind of heavy on my eyes. <sighs> Would I recommend this? That is like the big question. Let me pop on some mascara and think about it. I'm using the Tarte Gifted Mascara. For me personally, I would rather spend the big bucks and get a product that works and doesn't flake off and stuff like that. So that's why I feel like the Stila ones will be way better. Or even if you want like a metallic finish, you could go in with the Heavy Metals from Urban Decay and just layer this on top of eyeshadow. I've done that a ton of times and I love the way that that looks. But if you are someone who is on a budget, can't afford the Stila, can't afford the Urban Decay, then this could be your second best bet. Just keep in mind all of the issues that I'm going through with this. If I'm buying a product, I want it to work. There are plenty of drugstore makeups that are out there for like the same amount of price that work phenomenal. So there really is no excuse. Like I'm trying to justify it, but at the same time, I feel like, what the hell? All right, I'm gonna pop on some lashes, zoom you guys on out and give you some of my final thoughts. Okay guys, so uh, at first glance, I really was liking the way it looked. It was really, really promising, but after wearing it and playing around with it, it just flakes off. Like, I don't know. I don't know if I could deal with that, especially because I'm like a person that likes to go in, blend a little bit more. I don't wanna have to deal with shit flaking out all over my face. I mean, even for the price, there really is no excuse for it to be flaking in my opinion. Does it look cool? Of course, like I like the way it looks. I'm looking in the monitor and it's really nice but at the same time like I don't want a product that I have to constantly go back and layer on and on every time I want to blend shadow a little bit more so I don't know guys I personally if this was me if it wasn't sent to me I wouldn't go out and buy it because it just really disappointed me like at first I was really excited but I don't know so yeah I hope this video was helpful for you guys leave me a comment down below what you think if this is something you will be purchasing <sighs> I don't know I'm just kind of disappointed with the whole thing. But thank you guys so much for watching. And if you like what you see, make sure to subscribe. All right. I love you guys. And I will see you next time. Bye.